Hi Gemini, this is your reading for mid-June, um, true black as usual, and then I'll clarify if it needs it with the Black Violet Tarot. Cards have been shuffled, a lot of cards are coming up over and over again, but not this one, first time for the Hermit, and for the Ten of Pentacles, that's come up before, Eight of Wands, the Moon's coming up a lot, and the High Priestess coming up a lot. Um, Ten of Swords... Ten of ones, a four. Always like to see that card. Okay. So, oh, that's nice energy. That's great. So underlying energy on the bottom is the mighty Ace of Pentacles. We love to see that. So the energy kind of underlying the whole read to tie in with the Hermit is there's a new start, there's a new chapter, but it's a roll your sleeves up and get on with it. It's a new start of your own making. You're on top of the mountain. You've achieved something already. So it's not a surprise. Um, it's not a lottery win. Um, but yeah, it's it's a brand new start. The axe and the hammer show, you know, this is me doing it, rolling my sleeves up, really getting on with it. So it's great to see that. Ten of Pentacles about generational stability. You've got two tens here, by the way. Uh, three tens, actually. So very much in June, um, Gemini, this is very much the end of something. Something is now coming to completion. That's better than saying the end. There, there's something completing at the end of the month, big time, um, because of those three tens. So Ten of Pentacles is, is, is good for money, but it's also about generational stability. It's about, you know, I always say, you always do what you've always done, you always get what you've always got. But if you're always doing something really well, the, the same applies. So say you're really good with money, you always do what you've always done, you will continue to be really good with money. Maybe you're a really um, rock-solid friend. You will carry on being a rock-solid friend if you're a fantastic lover, partner, father, mother, sister. You know, if, if you're the rock in a family, you'll continue to be that. So that's what this talks about. In a more traditional ride of weight, it's a, a grandfather in obviously a very opulent setting. And he's he's got all his children and grandchildren around him and his pets. And he's a very joyful card. It's a very settled card. So that's really great energy to start the read with. Then you come down to the Four of Wands. Simple as celebration, freedom. Uh, this bird is free of its chains. It can go off and be what it wants to be, what it ought to be, which ties in beautifully with the Ace of Pentacles. It's a card of celebration as well. Sometimes a wedding, sometimes an engagement. It's that real joyful, I've got some news to tell you. So that's lovely to see as well. And it could be relationship-wise, simply because you've got the two of cups here, the soulmate card, two peas in a pod. It can sometimes relate to your higher self. So it's it's me and the better version of me coming together. But whatever it is, it's just a great column of read this. You know, it's just, if you've only got these three cards in a reading, oh, happy days, yeah. So that's really good, Gemini. The middle line, you have uh, the Ten of uh, Wands, which is the burden card. The hermit time for some sort of introspection and going away and thinking about things internalizing because you've got the ten of swords most definitely something coming to an end but the dawn is rising so it's if you are planning a new venture it's like i've done my paperwork i've gone to the bank and the bank have shut me down but they've told me what what i need to do to you know make this thing work maybe you need to put more money in as a deposit maybe you i don't know need to be more complete it doesn't need to be a negative, by the way. It could just be you've just finished one project at work and you're about to start on another, you know, and you're doing a really good job because around and around it goes. But things do come to an end, simple as that. The top card there is is the burden card. You know, there's this um, Goliath beetle and he's, he's carrying these sticks on his back. And there's also another beetle on there kind of having a free ride. And again, in a more traditional rider way, there's a man carrying these sticks in a really odd way and they're kind of heavy and ungainly, but there's a house in the distance. It's like you're almost there. So you're so close to the finish line, Gemini. I wouldn't worry about this. It's literally minutes, hours, days away. It's not even weeks, you know. It's almost over, just bear with. The card in the middle, the hermit, this is, you know, he's turning around going, what, what are you doing here? You know, it's about in your mind going up onto the mountain and, and just clearing your mind and letting all those subconscious thoughts come to the surface. If you think of your mind as, as kind of a um, a study full of books and there's bookshelves everywhere, we like a nice ordered mind and sometimes all you need to do is just sit in a chair or sit under a tree and just listen to the wind and the leaves rustling and the warm sun on your face, blah, blah. Just let yourself go to that place 
just tidy up some shelves. You know, it could be something as simple as that. Just give your your subconscious time to have a bit of free reign um, and you'd be surprised what comes to the surface. And what comes to the surface is communication, communication, communication. You know, you've got the Eight of Wands at the top there, this card here. So this is the Eight of Wands. It's, it's come up a lot. of Things come up in every read so far. It's definitely a lot of communication going on in work. There could be, you know, just, just lots of things going on in a relationship. It's, I think we're more inclined to go to events and things now after the... The interesting last two years the world has had, you know, if someone's having a wedding, people go to the wedding fast, you know, before they get COVID and it all starts again. There's a real sense of, you know, let's go on holiday, let's do the things we kind of thought we'd wait to do because who knows when this will happen again. And then the Knight of Swords in the middle here, <clears throat> most likely armoured of all the knights. He's got hardly any armour on. He's got two swords instead of a sword and a shield. He's not expecting to defend himself. He's, he's expected to just charge in. Again, we're not talking male, female. We don't do gender in the tarot. It's just a masculine energy. And he's basically charging in my way or the highway, speedboat on a pond. He's having a great time. Careful the message doesn't get lost in here, you know um you know someone's going and your mother called and your mother called and i keep telling you your mother's called you're not listening to me you know yeah we're having too much time and you can do that can't you as a seven-year-old boy you can go out up into the hills and have a whale of a time and your parents are worried sick because you said you'd come back in an hour and you've been gone all day um so yeah just be careful of that energy it's, it's a really great enthusiastic energy and it should be embraced you just need to temper it a little bit and then down here we have the moon card untapped potential this this is an unlimited waterfall of energy of ideas of inspiration of of thoughts of of the future you know and it's just it, now's the time again signs and portents you know mysteries black cats don't walk under ladders all that kind of stuff but it's just a a real um oh, what's the word subconscious mysterious energy so just go literally go with the flow and we'll just do a quick clarification on this one. Let's see what we get. One, two, and three. A bit of a quieter one for you, Gemini. You've had, a, would say, about six weeks of real intense energy. And, and the universe wanted you to go, 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 as you know, we've discussed. It's pulled four cards. I'm going to put all four down. I don't normally do this, but um, King of Pentacles... Very settled in the money situation. This could also relate to money, by the way. So if money is on your mind, it's in a good place. Yeah, um, I'm not. It's not financial advice. I'm just telling you what the cards say. So King of Pentacles. It's it's someone who is happy in their finery, happy with you know where they are in life. Uh, it's a very settled energy. But it's hard energy for people to find. It, it, when you are settled like that, you kind of go, oh, this is what it's supposed to be like. It's a bit like standing on a hill and the wind dies down and you can just hear the birds and you can see the view and you know it's just very still that's king of pentacles energy that kind of and we're home you know i've got my nice house my nice car a lovely relationship what, whatever these things you want you've got and you deserve them because you work damn hard for them four of pentacles i love this card in this particular reading it's a card of holding on to what you've got and there's nothing wrong with that by the way if you're in a relationship and you go I love the way this relationship, we're going to stay this way. You might be better off just, just pulling yourself up out of this trench and seeing that view I've just talked about. You know, maybe you want to stand on top of the mountain and just see what what is on the horizon. And you could choose to stay down there. It's not a negative card. Or you could choose to get up and move on and, and you know, step out into the adventure. So just be careful you're not sort of holding on to something for the wrong reasons. Uh, the justice card exactly that you know in the cold light of day you will be judged you know you will have to balance the scales and she's got the sword there to meet her and punishment she's wearing a blindfold you can't sway her you know she's just going to go were you a bad person on this day and you go maybe or you go no i wasn't or yes i was you know what i mean you can't you can't get out of it it's literally in the cold light of day you will be judged so make sure you're doing the right thing and again you're here at this channel so of course, you're a magnificent Gemini. We 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 know that you're going to come out of this smelling of roses. Yeah, and of course you do. Nine. I mean, I read those. I didn't see those cards till I I turned them over. Nine of Cups is a fantastically abundant card. It's s such a great energy. Whenever you get this energy, 
you've got a lovely energy here, Gemini. The overall read is, is just a lovely energy. But that one in particular, it's someone who who is happy in their own skin. They're focused. They are successful. Uh, there's a lot of abundance around, but it's the it's the security and appreciation and knowledge that that abundance can be maintained and grown. So, you know, if you if you do well in life and you you're earning a fair bit of money, can I ask that you just give some of that money to charity or to people who are less well off than you? It doesn't have to be much. Uh, I've got to tell you, I I give three pound a month to the um, lifeboat institution. You know, I, I'm drawn to the sea. I'm terrified of the sea, by the way. I'm phobic about water, but I'm drawn to the sea. And I just thought, if I fell in the water, I'd want a lifeboat to come and rescue me. And then I was like, three pounds a month. I, I, that's not even one cup of coffee in a month. I'm not even going to miss that. And and I've just started to do that. I just feel better for it. There are a couple of other things I want to throw another three pounds at. For some reason, the number three is coming in as well. I'll probably do three, three, three because my lucky number is nine. But you know, people always go, well, three pounds a month's nothing. But if we all did it, the Lifeboat Institute would have hundreds of thousands of pounds every year. So yeah, maybe maybe do that. But that's what this card talks about. This nine of cups is affluence, abundance, security, sophistication, intelligence warmth focus intent i mean i know there's a lot of words in there but it's such a good card it's one of those cards that the more i've learned about it the more i've kind of gone wow when this comes up in a reading just nail it so gemini you're just a lovely person carry on being that person maybe share the wealth a little bit as in and also this this wealth can be knowledge it can be opening a door for someone it could be buying somebody that cup of coffee you know so just the little things like that but you're in for a tremendous run out to the end of the month much quieter than it has been but very very settled and strong and secure um you're really owning your own power at the moment love to see that gemini i will see you on wednesday for your general read take care